Welcome back, everybody. We're always looking for easy dinner solutions, and roasting is one technique that makes cooking quick and easy. And Laura Grimmer from the Perfect Pair in Chester is here with a delicious and healthy one pan recipe. Uh, she's also oh, giving wow. us chopping tips for flavorful whole ingredients. Nice to see you, Laura. Nice to see it's you. It's a pleasure. Oh, it's a pleasure to see you as always, and uh, nice to see you, Richard. Nice to Quickly, see you. tell us about your store first, because I'm, I, I always think I can go there and eat, but that's not the case. No, so it's a kitchenware store. Okay. So I have all kinds of stuff for the kitchen, the table, and the bar, because I happen to like a glass of wine. Yeah, yep. and me both. And so, but pots, pans, knives, beautiful dishware, service pieces, But you teach like as that. well. I do. I do cooking classes um, on at, in the evenings. Richard, are you Which listening? Which makes, makes you uniquely qualified to teach us how to make this <laughs> salmon <laughs> recipe. Well, How's that for a cross. That was our nice very, segue. Very, very, very nice. Yeah. Yeah. It's a real professional. Uh, I, I told, told you. you. Yeah, she's, Laura's happy to be working with a real professional today. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so what we're going to do today is a one-dish dinner that I swear really only takes 30 minutes. Okay. So you're going to come... I'll hold you to that. I know. You're going to come home. You can either use a sheet pan like this, or you can use a 9 by 13 or any kind of a roasting dish at all. I use uh, little red potatoes, cut them in half. You're going to toss them with a little bit of olive oil, salt, and pepper, put them in a dish, and start them in the oven for at 425 degrees. So it's a hot oven that we're going to start the potatoes at. But while they're cooking for 10 minutes, we're going to throw in our other vegetables that are going to take a little less time. To that cook. looks like fennel to me. No, you're a real pro. Thank you. This is fennel. Fennel-ish. This is one of those things. I always feel like uh, leek and fennel are one of those things that people don't always uh, know what to do with. Yeah, so I, I don't thought, know what to let do me with. show you a little bit about this. So mainly, what you want to do is you want to cut off the top and any of the little fronds and feathers that go along with it. Okay. You're going to cut off the top and then you're going to cut it in half. Oh, it smells like licorice. Oh, it no. does. It's this is anise. This is something else that you'll see and then you can see in here that there's a little heart yeah and we want to get that out so I use a small paring knife and I'm just gonna go in and I'm gonna cut around it in like a little triangle shape Wow! so that I can get the heart out of it and that's easier it takes said the heart right than out of this done yeah, well I thought in honor of you we're right. gonna you know thank you we're gonna do that <laughs> so then, so then the, the next thing that you do is you're just gonna cut it in half again now you can leave it whole like this if you wanted big pieces of fennel okay. but for a dish that's roasted uh, the key is to keep all of your pieces similar widths and, and heights and everything so that it cooks at an even pace so mm -hmm. I want these pieces similar to the size of a potato oh hang on a minute Did, uh, hang on <laughs> I think it's zucchini phone <sighs> hello Oh, Lord. It's Kara. She <laughs> loves the one-pot dish. <laughs> well, thank you, Kara, for calling. We'll talk to you soon. And you came all the way. Thank you. I went, I, went to, I, I went to college, you know. <laughs> I have a knife. I know. I have and a knife. he's on 48 hours. This could end horribly. <laughs> I'm sorry. Go ahead, Laura. All we have right. about two minutes. So I want to make sure we get So we cut it in everybody. half, and then you're just going to cut it into pieces like this. And that way, then you get all of your pieces together, and they're roughly the same size. They're going to be easy to cook. All right? All right. So that's fennel and how to cook fennel. Now, leeks are something else that I often hear people talk about, and they don't know what to do with it. A lot them. of rinsing with leeks. A lot of rinsing, but I'm going to give you a quick tip on how to make it a little bit easier. You're going to take off just one outer layer of the leek, and you can see this guy's pretty dirty here already. And then what you're going to do is you're going to, again, take the paring knife and you're just going to circle around and see how the leaves just drop Ooh, off? Oh, look at how clever that yeah. is. Yeah. You just circle around like this and you want to keep the little white, you want as much of the good stuff as possible. Then you're going to put your paring knife in halfway, okay, and then go like that. And then you've got something very easy to rinse under the water. Oh, that's yep. fantastic. So that's how you just do it. You mean yeah. rinsing? Yep. And then so you can keep it together at the base, hold it together, and then you can start cutting your pieces again about the same width as the fennel. Okay. Okay? So that's how we get the leeks going. Now, you can use any vegetables you want. The key with any of this is just to time the cooking so that everything is cooked at the same time. So for 10 minutes, our potatoes have been cooking. We then put the fennel, the leeks, and a pint of cherry tomatoes, toss it with a little bit of olive oil, salt, and pepper again. I tend to put a little bit of red pepper flake in. Give it a little just spice. Just to give it a little yeah. 
heat, not about. a lot, yeah. a little bit of heat. And then that cooks for 10 minutes. And then what you're going to do is you're going to take that back out. And then you're going to put a piece of salmon okay. on top. Okay. And you have to eat four people, however many people you want. And then we're going to stick that under the broiler for 10 minutes. 10 minutes. Everything is 10 minutes. The the rule of thumb with cooking fish is usually about 10 minutes per inch of thickness. Do you want me to get it for you? Yeah, yeah. You want to? Sure. There you go. Absolutely. I didn't know that. 10, 10 minutes per inch 10 of 10 minutes fish. per inch of thickness at oh high God, heat or broiling beautiful. is about the is about the right. Now you might want to play with a little bit depending on the yeah. heat of your kitchen or how much you want things to be like really cooked. I've actually just making salmon because it's so healthy oh, for yeah? you. I've been burning it a lot, but uh, ooh, uh, look at that. Isn't so that there beautiful? we go. And then we have your beautiful veggies. I also did put down a layer of uh, lemon underneath the yeah. salmon. And so then we can kind of uh, start plating this. And I'm just going to take a little piece out. All right, while you plate that up, you're going to find all kinds of kitchenware recipes and upcoming classes on Laura's website. It's perfect. PerfectPairCT.com. And the Perfect Pair is located at 51 Main Street in the beautiful town of Chester, Look Connecticut. Look how beautiful this is. Do you guys want to try?